The colors and styles of furniture have really changed a lot over the years. And our next stop with We Mean Business is Stony Creek Furniture just off of Lewis Road. Joining me now is the president of the company, Jim Fee. Welcome to the show. Welcome, Hal. Jim, you've been here since you were 15 years I, old. I have. It's a little while, right? A little while, yeah. He's kind of worked his way up the ranks. Now, you must have seen a lot of changes over the years in furniture. Definitely a lot of uh, changes in the store and in furniture in general. But uh, it's like a fashion business. You know how lapels widen and ties widen and narrow? Furniture comes and goes, the styles change, and it swings back and forth a little bit over time. And sometimes you see some old influences being brought back with some new uh, new styles, new colors, and just giving a new new twist. So what would you say is really hot right now when it comes to lines and furniture? So across the board in a lot of ways, but overall I'd say we're seeing a lot more cleaner lines, the transitional, uh, contemporary kind of looks. Things like this where you just have nice, nice sleek lines. Okay, and what about coloring too? A lot of neutral tones, some of the grays Neutral and tones, tans. grays are very strong. Uh, we're still lots of beige, lots of off-whites, that sort of things. Uh, uh, but again, it's, it's personal preference. You know, when I talk about style, classic looks like traditional are still here, still strong, and it's, it's a personal thing. I, I'm more the deep purple kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Deep purple, good song, good song. <laughs> That's right. Now, you're gonna take us on a bit of a tour of the show? Sure, we'll take a look around and see what we have. Maybe some leathers. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay. I'll follow us. Oh, look at this, I love this, Jim. You got the beautiful leather. What I like about leather, and a lot of young families like about it as well, yeah, have a seat right here. Oh, Make sure. At home. Yeah, thanks for making it uh, uncomfortable getting through there. Thanks. <laughs> my long, yeah. my big feet and long legs. Thanks, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thanks for playing, right? Yeah. Now, a lot of young families I talk to, they really like this, Jim, because the fact that they can just wipe off any spills right away, just, it, it's easier to take care of and maintain. Leather is a really interesting product because it is more durable than fabric, but you end up, uh, if you think of a hide, uh, there's actually two parts that splits. The top grain, which this is, is the most beautiful, desirable leather in most people's minds, but it's like anything, it's like our wood. You see the scars, you see uh, barbed wire marks, you see insect bites, all that sort of thing. That's what shows is the natural beauty of leather. It's uh, nature's birth marks is what I like to call them. Right. So when you when you do that with a leather, some of those, the, the less you do to a leather, the softer it is, but it may take spills. So for a family, as you're discussing, you might want the split hide where they actually correct the leather, they'll buff out any imperfections and actually imprint a grain and give us a stronger surface that's much more durable for wiping up. So there's all types of leathers and, and qualities you can get. Um, it really depends what your needs are, and that's what we're here to find out. Now, what about having leather in the sunshine? You know, I want to put it out, you have got this nice big bay window. Do I have to be worried about any fading? Leather will fade. Leather, just like our skin tans, leather's a, a natural hide. So it breathes and it, 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 uh, it needs to be taken care of. So just like after sun, we should put some moisturizer on. Leather, you have to put some moisturizer. Your house is dry in the winter, you have to put some moisturizer on a couple times a year. Um, but direct sunlight, yeah, that, that does affect most and most fabrics as well. Something I need as well is a nice kitchen table where I can throw my car keys across the top. Don't have to worry about scratches. I can try to help you out there. Okay, let's see. Depends how hard you throw them. Well, okay, let's give it a shot. Okay. You lead the way. Okay. Then. <laughs> oh, look at this. I think I found some really nice pieces of natural wood finish, you know, where I can set my keys down, don't have to worry about the scratches and such, right? These ones are made for you. They've got that hand-hewn, uh, dented look, so you can bang the heck out of it. Go ahead. <laughs> I like that. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful product. This is back to that custom sort of thing where we can make uh, special sizing for your needs, but, uh, and, and then all the different finishes. If you don't like this really distressed look, then you can go with the smooth finishes as well. And some of these are made, what, in the, uh, the this is, community? The, some are made this in one here is from Quebec. Okay. Um, and yeah, beautiful product. Uh, solid wood, which is which is kind of a uh, you know some people love solid wood. I personally love solid wood, but uh, this is where you go. And you find your pieces not only in Canada but worldwide. We travel all over the world to, to go. Whether it's you know Europe has markets. We've been to Cologne, Germany, and uh, uh, down to Las Vegas regularly. We have a show in Toronto. Our biggest market's in North Carolina. It's an international market. People they come from all over the world for that one to show their wares. So what's the difference then between a natural wood finish versus a veneer? Uh, well, solid wood. You know, it is what it is. It's solid wood, and and it has all its uh, unique quirks. The the boards uh, will show color differently. If there's a knot, it's in there. If there's a wormhole, it's in there, and and that's the natural beauty of, of just like the leather we talked about. This is the beauty of wood. Um, it's nature's birthmarks again. Whereas when you get to a veneer, they select the best looking grains, the best looking veneers, they can lay them up, they can intricately wo uh, put different uh, wood species in and inlays and give you just a completely dramatic effect. Jim, I'm looking at all this, you've got queen, you've got king, you've got the double mattresses, you've got something with high coil count, the memory foam, but let me ask you something, I'm just looking for a cheap mattress, a mix and match, I want to throw it on my bedroom, you can help me out there too. I'd prefer not to, Hal. What, what, why not? 
we spend about a third of our life in bed. We, we work better, we play better, we feel better if we have a good night's sleep. People join health clubs and they spend 50 or more dollars, 60 dollars a month mm -hmm. to take care of their health. This is probably the most important thing you can do for your health. When we sleep, we actually have uh, a healing thing that happens. It's restorative. We actually fight the anti-aging. Uh, we, we fight aging and we get, we get younger as we go, so to speak. So when we sleep, we actually sleep in cycles, five step cycles throughout the night. And the early ones so those ones where you just start nodding off and then you wake yourself up. Or, you get the Jimmy legs a little or somebody comes in the room and you wake up. Sure. And, and those aren't really healing for us. You, when you move into the later ones, you're, you're in a much deeper sleep. And that's when we start actually uh, letting off hormones and endorphins that heal our cells and heal our bodies. And we start clearing our brain for the next day when we are uncomfortable temperature-wise. And we're doing the leg in, leg out, leg in, leg out. And you shake it all about. Uh, shake it all about. Pokey pokey pokey. Well, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't help. So when you, when you invest in a good mattress, uh, It'll take away those pressure points. It'll actually uh, cool your body or get uh, regulate your temperature so that you get that sleep and you'll stay in those deep, deep sleeps longer. Jim, I'm so happy I finally have my deep purple right you, here. You've been looking for it. <laughs> so I guess with a lot of your staff, they act as fashion experts when it comes to creating special designs and rooms. We have an amazing team here from front to back, but our, our salespeople are design oriented and will help you either in your home or here. Uh, coordinate that beautiful room. We're trying to make beautiful rooms. That's what we're here and for. And splash it with a lot of different colors uh, with a neutral tone so you can just dress it up any way you want. Well, pillows are great because you can, you know, freshen up your sofa. If you stayed with a nice linen like this or any neutral fabric, a few years down the road you're a little tired, a couple pillows, you've changed everything up. That's wonderful. I love all the colors here. Jim, thanks so much for joining us on We Mean Business. Teaching is all about furniture, colors, and styles. Thanks for coming in, Hal. It's been a pleasure. It's Stony Creek Furniture. For more information, make sure you check out their website.